Hey there, it's Andrea Goodsaid, and I thought what I would do, um, I've had a couple questions about Medium. It's actually a new platform for me. I had a, an account, but I had never really used it before. And so um, I, I'm doing what I tell people to do when they're new to something, which is as soon as you figure it out, make a video that walks people through what it is you just figured out, because what is um, obviously something that's getting in your way when you're new is stuff that you completely forget about by the time you've used a platform multiple times and it's that little stuff that can get people really stuck and have like um, just stopped that they can forget stuck it can stop people so for instance uh, I just had somebody it happened that I had already done my first day one content for this 30 day challenge thing that we're doing or that we did if, if you're watching this after that and someone messaged me uh, this is really a really ridiculous question but where do I start posting in medium well okay it's it's ridiculous unless you don't know where to start and you can't figure it out so it's a very streamlined page uh, platform and it's intuitive once you've got a handle on it, but until you do, there's just some stuff that, you know, I had to figure out, and so now that I've figured out, I can make a video about it, right? Okay, so you're logged in. You've gone through and signed in, and you're logged in. I logged in through my Gmail account, my Google account, um, and you can go to your face here. This picture is uh, managed in by your, well, for me, because that's how I signed in. That might be different depending on how you sign in but it's pulling from my Google page, from my Google account. So I went to, I wanted to update this picture um, and I thought I'd have to go to Google, but it turns out you can go right in here to edit profile. Uh, and I'll show you how I got here because this is not the page you start on. But I went to edit profile and you, as soon as this loads, you're able to click on this space right here and, and load a different picture. And I can also enter a short bio here, which I will do at some point in the very near future. Anyway, to get to all of the, the various, it's very like blank, you know, it's a blank page, but it's all under this, your face. Um, or there might be like a little, uh, uh, what do you call it? Like a placeholder image there. It's all here under this thing. And there's all this stuff you can do to begin posting in medium you literally click your face if there's a face here or the whatever the circle is and then news story and then you're you, you literally start typing just like a word document so a couple things that I figured out um, what I'm going to do is go show you my uh, the one story that I did do so you can also go to your stories like as a um, an archive or a, a doc a, like a what would you call it, a table of contents of the stuff that you've done. So I don't have any drafts, and but I do have two things that are published. One of them is, it turns out, a comment on somebody else's uh, story counts as a story for my account, which is kind of interesting to think about because that means that um, when people go to my profile, which is up here, if you click on... Um, this is my at Andrea Good said is how the uh, you see up here it's medium.com forward slash at at Andrea Good said um, this is what's that's the stuff that's here let's see yeah so these are things that I added likes to basically they're called claps on here and then I guess people can look and see like the different responses that I've given or people have given or highlights. Anyway, there's some other stuff that can go with basically what's your news feed here on Medium when people go to look at your profile. Um, but what I wanted to show you was what I learned inside of doing my story, the one that I did this morning to go with day one of this thing. Um, there were just a couple of things that once I figured it out, it's kind of cool to figure it out, but I didn't know it until uh, I had fiddled with it some. So you know how to start a story and then I put a title in where it said title and um, this this is a message after you publish that will happen. Um, I think it was pr default selected to on for distribution 
I asked the guy who's running this challenge whether it mattered. He said, just leave it alone and leave it on. So I did. Um, but what's interesting is that there's these things. So if I go here, let's see, am I in the edit screen? I'm not in the edit screen. So I have to scroll to the bottom and go here. Nope. See, I don't know my way around as well as I'd like. All right, so I know that I found my way. All right, hold on a second. I know I found my way to the edit screen. There's a, there's edits. Okay, here's the thing. I can edit it from here. So if you go to the, your front page of your profile, I can either stick it to the top when I come to one that I really like, like if I write one next in this next month that I really like, I'll stick it to the top. Uh, meanwhile, I can click an edit story from there. I'm pretty sure I found a place to do it inside of that other thing too. But okay, so now I have the title you know, stuff. Okay, so anyway, here's the point. You write the title. Okay, that's fine. It has no choices. But then you go down here, and there's all these different things you can do with it, right? And um, if I make an extra line here. I get this this plus sign on the side and what that lets me do if I have over it it lets me add an image a video embed or a new part which I have no idea what that is but if I if I click here it I can add an image and if I add an image so this is actually was a really fast way to add an image because I could go and do a screen grab and paste it in here and so forth or I could save it to my computer and upload it that way but what I did was I clicked there and nope, that's not what I want to do. That's if you want to get, take it from your um, from your computer. But if I click here and I go to the second one, is add an image from Unsplash, which is a photo library of free imagery, and it just adds a, a reference of whose whose image it was. I used one down here lower. Um, I used this one was an Unsplash one, so it just gives a little attribution at the bottom. But you can go here and you can, let's say you needed a picture of an elephant. I have no idea if there's elephants, but then you click, oh yeah, then you click enter and it brings up all these different elephant choices. So I would just be able to pick if I was making a post about an elephant, an elephant picture right off the bat and then just keep on typing. You see? So I don't know how I can get out of this. So I didn't pick one and it just canceled. So there you go. There's that. So the choices here are um, a picture, and that'll go to if you're on your phone, it'll go to your photo library, or it'll go go. It was asking from my computer to go find it a file that I wanted to add an image. Unsplash pictures are the second link, and that was so easy to just go ahead and do that for this this first picture. I think I put in writing, and I found this one in one of the screens, and you can click next. There's like a, that was that section of, I don't know, 12 or so, and there's like a next button. You can keep scrolling through and to see if there's one that you just really like more than the others. Um, and then this was where I could add a video. So it pastes a YouTube, Vine, Vimeo, or other video link and press enter. What I first pasted in here was an Instagram link, which didn't, I'm not sure, I'm certain about this, but it didn't seem to work as a video directly from the article, which is what I wanted. So I went ahead and uploaded my, it's like a 45 second video down here, it's at the bottom. And I just went ahead and uploaded it on YouTube and pasted down there. I pasted, it was just, I just pasted the YouTube link, pressed enter, and then it, it loaded the preview of it and it plays right in the, right in the article itself. Um, let's see what else did I figure out. Oh, when I put this in here, when I put in the image, there was a way to, um, I'll just add a, an image of something from Unsplash. We're at Elephant still. So let's say I wanted to put this one in here. It gives me these choices up here about where I want it to land. So right now it's this, these little tiny green lines are um, like the text. It's like giving you an example of the text how the text will be. Uh, I used this one which offset it, offset them this way. 
um, but you can just test it and see what it does. So this one makes it a great big picture. Um, this one makes it like a header picture, like it's the full screen. So you have some choices there about what you want it to do. And then also, if you are clear on your uh, search engine information, you can actually do some alt text for this, which is uh, basically what will show up if somebody's um, computer doesn't give them a picture, which doesn't happen as much of it anymore. Something weird just happened back there. Um, but anyway, it, and it, the search engines are able to see the words where people can't necessarily. But anyway, that's extra, extra stuff. But also, I don't want this here. So as long as it's highlighted in green like this, I can click delete and it's gone. So there you go. So I am not changing this at all because I was happy with it. Um, I'm just going to go back to story and nothing has changed. So anyway, just wanted you to see that even if you're brand new to a platform or a process or a anything, once you've been through something, you know more than whoever hasn't already done it or hasn't been able to find the start button, as an example. And you can really serve people and it's a piece of content and it's something that will, as long as this, this website is active and doesn't change its format completely, you know, its interface, it'll be useful to people. So I will save this video and upload it to YouTube. Maybe I'll use it in a post that explains what it is and gives some examples and writes it out. And that gives people two ways that they can consume this exact same content. So content is everywhere. That's, that's one of the things that I think um, you'll have like this light bulb moment if you're, if you're having any difficulty at all. Content is everywhere and content ideas. And it's not silly to go ahead and implement the stuff that seems like it should be obvious because to somebody it's not obvious and you can be a value add that way. All right, okay, have a super day and I hope this helps.